Hey neighbors, welcome back to my channel. And today we're going to be doing something very fun and that is opening a Roth IRA or IRA as some folks prefer to say. If you don't know who I am, my name is Paige. I am not a financial advisor, CPA, any type of accountant um, in any way. So take what I say with a grain of salt and obviously don't forget to consult your financial advisor or whoever you go to with uh, those fun retirement needs. So moving on to what exactly is an IRA and why do you want it to be specifically a Roth IRA? Many folks who are working, they're given a 401k by their employer. And what that is, is it takes pre-taxable income into your retirement account, which sounds great. However, the downside is that when you retire, you are then paying taxes at that time. So depending on the way your account is set up and whether you're withdrawing all of it at once, you could then be taxed at potentially a higher tax bracket than you are now, or just overall, it's not as fun to deal with those taxes later in life. So this is where a Roth IRA comes into play. Essentially, a Roth IRA is a retirement account that you pay taxes on prior to retirement. This way, when you retire, you can just take that money out, no need to pay taxes, it's yours. Now the thing about opening a Roth is that there are some income limits. So this video will be talking about how to do a backdoor Roth. So this way, if your income is over the acceptable limit, you do not have to fret. First and foremost, the income limit for the year 2021 is $140,000 a year. So if you do not make that amount, then you're good to go. You don't have to watch this video. This is not yet for you, but bookmark it because you never know when you will reach that point in life where you make over $140,000 and it's time to start working on that backdoor strategy. For this video, I am going to be using Charles Schwab to do the conversion. Um, obviously, there are multiple types of platforms out there. So here's a look at the homepage for Charles Schwab IRA accounts. So you can see that there is the traditional, the Roth, and the rollover. The first thing we're going to be doing is we will be opening up a traditional IRA. So one thing I do want to draw your attention to is the traditional IRA contribution limit. For 2021, the contribution limit is $6,000. So if you're the type who likes to do this monthly, you can contribute $500 a month. Another thing that I wanted to point out as well is that if your income is over $75,000, then these contributions are not tax deductible. So I'm not going to be showing the process of opening a IRA for obvious security reasons. However, this is how it will look in your account if you're using Charles Schwab. So with that, I only am putting $100 just so that you can easily see what it would look like. After you open your traditional IRA, you're going to go back to the same page that you're on before and open up a Roth. Now, when you're opening this, it will ask you what your income is and it'll have a disclaimer, but keep moving ahead and you'll see how we'll handle that. Once this is successfully done, you will now see two IRA accounts. What we're going to do next is we're going to go to the online transfers. This is all within the same account, of course, so you don't have to worry about routing numbers or anything like that. What you're going to do is you're going to take the money from your traditional IRA and then go ahead and move that to your Roth IRA that you now have opened. Once you do this, you will receive a disclaimer from Charles Schwab stating some fun disclaimers about taxes. So again, feel free to follow up with your financial advisor. If you don't have one, then this is just how you can do it by yourself. Towards the bottom, you will see a notice of your distribution amount, as well as a tax withholding. So once you are converting your money into the Roth, you're paying taxes now so you don't have to later. You can choose the contribution amount. For me, living in Nevada, I know I don't have to worry about any kind of state income taxes. However, obviously I am subject to federal. So with that, I did decide to keep a 10% withholding. 
If you're unsure of which withholding you should choose, I would recommend looking back to your tax documents and seeing what your tax rate was after all your deductions are taken out. Regardless, you will receive a tax statement at the end of the year or beginning of the next, typically by January 31st, and it'll have some very important information that you'll need to put on your tax return. And that right there is a process to opening a backdoor Roth IRA. I hope this was helpful. Again, I am not a financial advisor in any way. I'm just someone who's very concerned about being able to retire at age 57 and a half or whatever it ends up being when I'm finally at retirement age. Feel free to leave some questions or comments in the comments below. Again, I'm not a financial advisor, so I may not have the answer. However, if you do have any commentary or anything that could potentially be important for folks to know, then please go ahead and leave that below as well. I would love to have an open dialogue. And that wraps up this video. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch. I hope this helped you on your retirement goals. If it did, don't forget to hit me with a thumbs up. See you next time.